For this demo, I have already created an account on the Genesis server. I will focus on the tutorial. It will be a video to explain how you can start playing. In next videos, we can explaining how you can expand your bases, launch attacks, or how to play like a space pirate. Let's get into the tutorial then. Here we have the various tutorial steps. I would like to point out that Astro Empires now has an AI assistant powered by GPT. It can answer simple and complex questions. We will make a new video later focused on this assistant. So for the first mission of the tutorial, we need two levels of metal refinery structure. Let's return to our base and access the list of structures to be built. By selecting metal refinery, we can better verify the costs and benefits of this structure. This one for example will give us more construction and production speed, and also an economic return of plus one credit per hour, but it will need to consume one population, energy, and area. These resources are not unlimited, and later in the game, it will be necessary to manage the resources well. To build the metal refinery, we can press the build button or the Q button ready. Now it will take a few seconds to build. Meanwhile, we have a chance to put another structure in the construction queue. And after finishing the first structure, it automatically starts building the next in queue. Let's advance quicker. It is now completed and there is a notification in the tutorial section. We can collect the five credits reward and proceed. Now we need to build an energy structure. Let's go to our base, structures. Well, we really have a lack of energy. Let's check the support tab. Here we have the urban structures that will give more population. And next we have two energy structures, both cost the same and return the same amount of energy. This happens because we are on a planet that has equal gas and solar resources. Let's choose the solar and start building. And it is done. One more reward. Now we have a mission with a requirement. We need to discover an energy technology, but we lack a research laboratories. Let's jump into our base. We have a research section here, but there are no researches available. That's because we don't have any research points. On the structures list, there is a research labs. We can see that this will give us plus eight research points. Let's build it. We advanced a little. And now we have some research points. Let's check the research technology now. We can see some technologies available. In the support tab, we have the energy and the computer. And in the combat tab. We have two more, but we don't have the requirements to research them. Let's select the energy. This technology will give us a 5% increase in energy output. Let's research it. We can see that researching technologies takes a longer time, but in a persistent game like this, time passes even when we are offline. Research is done. Let's jump to the next mission. More credit rewards. And a new mission. Base population. We have to upgrade our urban structures to level 2. Another way to access structures is through this hammer button. On the support tab we find the urban structures. This upgrade will give us more 7 population. In this bar we can see the level of the 3 main resources. In the population we are using 4 and a cap of 7. Let's improve the level of urban structures and increase the population cap to 14. Let's continue. More 5 credits reward. Now we have a new technology to research. Laser. But to be able to research it, we have to meet the requirements first. A level 2 research labs and a level 2 energy technology. We can start by researching the level 2 energy. And while it is being researched, we can upgrade the research labs to level 2. So as you can see on this buttons on the overview, we now have two ongoing operations. Fast forwarding. And it's done. Let's check our researches technologies. We now have the laser available for research. It will give a 5% bonus damage on every ships that use laser weapons. Although we don't have ships yet, it's a good way to learn about these specs. Let's research it. Fast forward. We collect the reward of 10 credits. Now we have a good amount of credits. 
So for the next mission, we need to build our first ship, a small fighter unit. But to build it, we will need a shipyard. Let's jump into our base. Select the shipyards. We can see that in addition to unlocking new units, it also increases production speed by two and will generate one more credit per hour. Let's build it. We advanced a little, so now we have the shipyards showing up in the overview. Let's check the production page. Now we have the fighters available for production. Let's select them. Here we can check the specs of the selected unit. In this case, fighters have a base attack of 2 and an armor of 2. They use laser technology. And to be able to move in the galaxy, they would need one free hangar slot on a bigger unit. Fighters seem to be good against unarmored units. And being a low-cost unit, it is commonly used by players in their fleets. Let's select the quantity box. Let's put one in the box. We only need one fighter to complete the mission. And press the build button. And it's done. Let's move forward. Collect a nice reward, and on to the next mission. Trade. Trade is a great way to boost the economy. Each base can have several trades with external bases, either ours or belonging to other players. The greater the distance between the bases, the greater the income. In order to create a new trade, we need a new structure, a spaceport. On the structures page, we choose spaceports. In addition to allowing new trades, it also increases the base economy by generating two more credits per hour. Let's build it. Let's cut time. Now we have the spaceport, as you can see here. Although it is not mandatory to set a new trade for this mission, let's try to enable one. On the trade page, we have two options, set a new route or search for one. Pressing the first option. We have to enter the destination base location manually. We would need to find a base on the map, which will take some time. Let's go back and choose the search option. So now we have a list of available bases that have trade slots and would accept trade with our base. We can see the name, the owner, its economy, and distance. But even if we choose a trade partner from this list, we will have to wait for the other part to accept. And that is will not be easy, because as you can see here, our base economy is only 5. We are simply two newbies to apply to a trade for now. So for now we forward without a trade, and we can create a new one, later. So let's go to the next mission. First we collect the reward. And now, we need to research a stellar drive technology. This time we have a few requirements, a level 5 research laboratory, and a level 6 energy technology back on base. Research page. And we started researching a level 3 energy technology. Now, on the structures. We have a red warning. Looks like we need more energy. On the support. Let's choose the gas. Even if solar and gas have the same output specs, a level 1 gas is a little cheaper. Let's build. Let's move forward. We continue to increase the energy level and the level of research labs. We still need to meet the requirements. To make it easier, I will add cues on the energy technology and research labs. And now we just have to wait until all the cues are completed and we have all the necessary requirements to research the stellar technology. Let's fast forward half an hour. Now we have all cues done. We have the research labs on level 5 and energy technology at level 6. With all requirements met, we can move forward now with stellar technology research. Some minutes later, we have completed another tutorial mission. One more reward. And now we have to move a new unit, a corvette. In order to be able to produce one, we need to have these requirements. Back to the base. Structures, we need shipyards at level 4. Let's use the queue to simplify the process. But first we have to pump more population and energy, or our shipyard's queue will get stuck. On the support section, we build a second level of solar plant, and in urban structures we insert a build queue. Now back to the facilities, shipyards, we insert three builds queue. 
In this way, when all these events are over, we will have the shipyards at level 4. Now for the technology's requirements. Research page. We need level 1 computer. Let's research. And in the combat section, we add to the research queue two levels of armor and two laser levels. The order here is not important. Now we just have to wait for all events to complete. We jump a little more in time. Now we have all the requirements to be able to produce corvettes. Let's go to production and start building a corvette. Fast forward one hour. We now have one corvette. We can see that it uses stellar drive with a base speed of 10. All units produced are automatically added or converted into a fleet. Now to move fleets. We can use the map page. We have our galactic locations in white. In yellow we have well-known solar systems. And in gray, the unknown regions. Let's jump into a nearby star. This one looks perfect. We choose move. So now we select the fleet we want to move. Now in the fleet page, we need to insert the quantity of the units to move. We need to move one Corvette. Let's confirm this last step. And it's moving. We can also see the activities on the map page. Here is our fleet moving. Let's move on. And collect the reward. Next we have to discover a new technology. Warp drive. And here are the requirements. Research labs at level 8. Energy at level 8 and stellar drive at level 4. Let's get started. At the base. Structures. To be able to get three more levels in research labs, we will need more energy output. On the support, we will build one more gas plant level. We can now build the three levels of research labs we need. And in the research. Let's queue up the technologies we need. Searching for stellar drive will take some time. Let's cut time. Our queues are over, and we now have the necessary requirements to research warp drive. In the research page, warp drive, and press research. And that's it. About these durations, they decrease if we have more points assigned. In here we can see the points that can decrease the duration for construction, production, and research points. We should add more points to the construction and production, and this way we evolve faster. In the structures. The structure that has the better ratio price specs are the metal refineries. I think it's even worth raising three levels and get nine more points for construction and production. But first, we will need to increase the population. Let's build one more level of urban structures. And now we start building three levels of metal refineries. Now on to the next one. We now have a tougher mission, to build a second base. We will need the shipyards at level 8 so we can produce a new unit, the outpost ship. This is a civil ship, exclusively for creating new bases on uninhabited planets or moons. At the base. We will need to increase the shipyards by four levels. But before we add the building queues, we will need more energy. Let's improve one of our plants then. And now we start building the four levels of shipyards. Let's advance a little. We have the shipyards at level 8. Now we can produce the outpost ship. In the logistics section. We have four units here. Recyclers can collect space debris, generated by the destruction of units or defense systems. The scout ship is incredibly fast and effective at spying on nearby regions. Goods return 5% of their cost when produced, a great way to hide credits or investment for the future. And the outpost ship. You can see it in greater detail in this button. It will take about three hours to be produced. It could be less if we have more production points. Let's start producing. We will also need to increase maximum number of campaign fleets. We only have computer technology at level 1, and that only give us one campaign. And we already have a Corvette out of base. We could recall the Corvette, 
but sooner or later we would need to improve the computers. And being cheap, we can do it now. And now we wait a little. Sometime later. We have our outpost ship produced. And it's now part of Fleet One. Let's send it to our future new base. In the map. Next to our base, we still have the corvette that we sent a little while ago. Maybe we can send the outpost to the same location. We have some asteroids, hot moons, and an arid planet. Perhaps as a second base, we should choose a planet better suit for the population. Let's continue to search. Let's check this solar system. This rocky planet looks like a good planet for a base. It has good solar exposure for energy, fertility for population, and metal to boost construction and production. Now let's bring our ship over here. Fleet 1. And only the outpost ship will come. Confirm. And now we wait a few minutes. We accelerated a little. Our outpost ship has landed on the rocky planet. Let's get closer. This white dots represents the size of our fleet. And here in gray we have some debris from a previous war. Let's open the planet page. And access our fleet. Here we have the button to build a new base. Let's press. Here we have the costs, and we can enter a proper name. Let's call it Pandora. And build. Now on the bases page. We have two bases, the home planet and the Pandora. On Pandora. We have a different terrain and just an urban structure. Let's pump the specs before the next mission. Let's speed up, collect the reward, and proceed. Now we need some type of defense at the bases. Let's build the defenses on the home planet as it's a bit more valuable. On structures. Defenses. We have four defenses, but two of them still depend on requirements. Here in the green info we can check its power and armor. Let's choose the lasers and build. Moving on. We are almost done with these missions. Now, we need to build a new structure, command centers. These will allow occupations on other players' bases, if necessary. But perhaps more importantly for now, they increase the fleet attack at the base. An aggressor will think twice before attacking. But in order to build, we will need more four levels of computer technology. Let's go to the bases. Although we now have two bases, only Home Planet has a research lab. On Home Planet. Research. On computers. We research four more levels. And we wait. Let's move forward. We now have computer at level six. Let's build the command centers. We confirm the construction. While we wait for it to be built, we can pump the population and energy. And we wait a few minutes. Now for the last mission. We need to move a frigate with four fighters inside to a location outside the bases. In order to have this new unit for production, we will need missile technology at level 6 and armor at level 8. It will take a while. To speed up research, we can build a second research labs on Pandora. Let's build it with three levels, for higher research points. And now, let's jump to home planet. We can use this select option. And in research. Combat. In the missiles. Let's put as many cues as possible which are six, exactly the level we'll need. For the armor research, we have to wait for the other research labs to be built in Pandora. Now we have the new research labs on level two. Let's research the armor. Technologies maintain their levels throughout our empire. We already have armor at level two. We would need to research six more levels. 
and we wait a while. Research is done. We can now produce the required units. In production. Fighters. Let's insert three more to production. Now the frigate. We can see in the description that this is a great unit to attack and defense and can carry up to four small units. Let's insert one. And we confirm the production. Sometime later. We now have one frigate and four fighters that we will need to finish the mission. Let's move them to a location outside the bases. This time we can move to a neighboring location. On this link we can access our home planet general page. This shows the full path from the current galaxy to where our planet is located. Let's access the system page. Here we can better see the nearby locations. We can choose this moon to cut travel time. On the moon page. Assign the fleet. On the fleet page. We add the frigate so we can have available hangars. And then the fighters. And that's it. Our fleet has arrived. And we end the tutorial. But our adventure is just beginning. There are greater challenges ahead. As a commander, you must expand your empire through your bases and fleets, explore the galaxies, participate in guild tactics, and much more. We hope you can enjoy this great game. Good luck, Commander.